There are all sorts of cars for all sorts of customers. And most brands you'll find will have a range that is designed to appeal to very different needs. Even within certain niche marks, like for example Morgan, you will find different cars designed for very different customers. Take for example this, the Plus 4. We reviewed this on Tuesday. It's a beautiful, delightful, classic British sports car. Yes, it may have been manufactured a year ago, but it'll give you all of the thrills and the driving experience of a car that you'd expect from 60 years ago. However, if you want your sports car to be leaner, meaner, lower, wider, more powerful, faster, harder, you could try the brand new Plus 6, a car I very much enjoyed. However, if you want a car that's going to give you the sort of smile that requires a plastic surgeon to remove, there is only really one true option. It's this, the Morgan three-wheeler. There was no way in hell I was coming down to Bell and Colville today and not taking this out for a spin. However, I do need the appropriate attire for it. Contact. The three-wheeler is really a car that just transcends all boundaries. It's hilariously loud. It shakes like crazy when you start it up and when you're on the move. And it's the sort of car that you can drive wearing a Biggles hat. And somehow that's not the most ludicrous thing about the whole setup. I will confess I did buy this hat and goggles for this video. <laughs> it sounds like thunder when you change down. Plenty of torque. Only about 80 on horsepower, but also only about 500 odd kilos to move along. It is unfortunately also raining. You've got to be really careful with this car when it rains because there's actually not much grip from the front, not much grip from the rear. It is just a fun machine. I really do feel like a fighter pilot in this. All I need is the odd German to take a pot shot at me and that'll really just complete the whole vintage vibe. You can't adjust the seats, you have to adjust the pedals. The driving position is a, is a touch weird. But it's just wonderful. Now the guys at Bell and Colville deal with all sorts of people from all kind of backgrounds with, you know, different levels of wealth, different preferences for cars and things like that. This is the great unifier. This is the one that everybody loves. I can see why. I really can. You don't need to spend much time behind the wheels, as few as there are, of one to get the magic. It is a shameless throwback. Completely shameless, but I don't care. I don't care, not one little bit. The gearbox is actually really pleasant. It's an MX-5 gearbox again, same as in the Plus 4 that I drove earlier. And one thing you really do have to be careful with in this car, of course, is that rear wheel setup. There's only one of them, they're quite narrow, and they're in the middle of the road, which means that uh, all of the crud, crap, and detritus that all the other cars trying to push out of the way get pushed right into the path of your driving wheel. I've done my time in uh, Reliant Robins and the like, and this is about as far away from one of those as you could possibly expect. <laughs> it's just, it, it really is just all smiles. All smiles. It's kind of funny. I'm trying to navigate around the manhole covers here and it, um, it's pointless. I get two wheels around them, then the other one goes straight over the top. <laughs> Everybody that I drive past looks at me. I don't think I've ever driven something that gets this much attention. It's, it's nutty. It's bonkers. They got ones in the showroom that have got big old shark's teeth painted up the side. 
They're on an old school World War II fighter jet liveries. Oh, oh my, that, that blip on the downshift, it's like a slap over the head. <laughs> you can get these cars in a couple of different configurations, and I don't just mean customization options. This one's been given quite a few options, including this pretty amazing orange paintwork. This is a Euro 3 specification car. It's got more power, it's got better sound. However, you have to put it through an individual vehicle test or an SVA, whatever they call it these days. That means if you want to buy one and you live on the continent, you're going to have to get the Euro 4 specification model, which unfortunately is subject to extra rules and regs, but it's the only one you can buy if you need a certificate of conformity. Now, what's the price of one of these? About 45 grand. Well, that's the price of this one anyway. One thing with Morgans, and this is true of basically all of them, is that because they are very rare, very unusual, and they have a very dedicated following, is that they really don't depreciate all that much. The car picks up from just about nothing, thanks to that great big 2 litre s and lump right out the front. So you're 45 grand, what do you get? Well really, you don't get anything. Nothing. But you can option the car up as you like. This one's got even little features like the little wire mesh over the front lights, that's pretty cool. It's got a different exhaust on it. It's got these diamond quilted seats with orange stitching, which looks fantastic. Oh very narrow in here, right, one of the narrowest cabins I've ever been in, that's why I've left Darren at home for this one, he's going to help with the drive-bys, but for now I just wanted to go in this thing on my own and just savour the madness. If you're going to do any long distance travelling in one of these, same advice I'd give to anyone wanting to do the same thing in a caterham. Get a helmet, earplugs, something like that. You still get quite a bit of wind, so actually having the goggles on really does help. It's functional, honestly. I don't want to get my hair in a frizz. I love it when you see a car that looks as utterly mad as this, but whose drive matches that crazy exterior. It's rare that that happens, but when it does, oh, it's magical. Let's see what happens, shall we? I want to try and navigate it down a country lane. Now, one thing I will say, turning circle on this, utterly abysmal, absolutely horrible. The steering wheel's great, suits the car down to a T. This is the salesman's pride and joy, and I can see why I apologize. The DeLorean! <laughs> I'm going deaf! What's that, Sonny? Can't hear you over my three-wheeler Morgan. Get out of the way, Van. If watching this video is making you think even in the slightest way, you know what? I should get one of them. Do it, just do it. Come down to Bell and Colville. See Richard, get a test drive. Go out, have fun. It's marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Wow! <laughs> I mean, I don't feel like I can even judge the handling. The brakes aren't really that good. If you want an objective review, this is not it. This is not that kind of car. If you're buying this for those kind of reasons, don't do it. Go try the plus six. Plus six is much better in that regard, much quicker, etc., etc., etc. This thing is just a. It's wonderful. My uh, wheel wriggles in your hands as you go down the road. <laughs> she bumps around. She's all over the shop. <laughs> it's just hilarious though. Don't care. Really don't care. My flying hat finally got a chance to come out. And I'm a happy man. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. I know I have. Please like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. See you for the next one. Bye bye!